Hello and welcome to my road to the British Champs and it has been a pretty big week, like a big week for many reasons but in terms of the run up to the British Champs this has been probably the most, I'd say the most significant week uh, thus far that it could prove to be anyway. So, as you are probably, I would imagine, certainly fully aware if you're watching this, uh, I've tested this week, obviously tested all three of my lifts, my deadlift, my bench and my squat um, and it was mixed. Deadlift obviously went really well. Uh, bench press was kind of close to being good, but should have been better really. And squat was a bit of a disaster. But um, I'm quite a positive person. I like to kind of try and find positives from things. And to be honest, even without that, there's definitely a big silver lining. Now, I'm going to go into more depth uh, in some videos next week. But basically, uh, I spent a while, spent a long while trying to fix my deadlift. Didn't change for a while. I kept playing around with stuff. Finally settled on something that worked for my deadlift and it's really taken off. Whereas my squat and my bench press, I've been aware, particularly with my squat, that my technique is not good enough. Um, but because with both of those lifts, the weight's been going up nicely, I was kind of too scared to change it. I didn't want to, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. If, it, if the weight's going up, there's no need to change it. But I was kind of especially again with the squat, I was aware it was going to plateau soon and now I feel like I've hit the point with both of those lifts uh, where something needs to change and I think obviously because I've, because I have hit a bit of a plateau, it's now a perfect ch uh, chance or time to, to kind of change things around technically. So I'm going to bring out a video, two videos next week, one on fixing my bench press and one on fixing my squat. Uh, so obviously look out for those, but basically I'm going to make some technique changes to those lifts. I know it's cutting it a bit fine with the British Champs, but to be honest, I tend to pick things up quite quickly um, and I don't want to waste two months just reinforcing poor techniques. So I think now is as good a time as any to change, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Anyway, um, if you haven't seen my PR attempts, then you're probably wondering what I'm going on about. You can just go and watch them now. The videos are up, uh, but they're obviously going to be in this video as well because it's my training clips. So what you've got here is... Uh, Obviously, I was in Cornwall at the start of the week, uh, so there's a bit of training from there. Uh, then it's a deload period, and then obviously it's testing time. So, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's, I'm over the moon with the deadlift. The deadlift feels like so good. I'm so, I had, like I said, I had a long time where I was, I just didn't enjoy deadlift, and I felt like it was never going to change. I couldn't move it off the floor all the time, whereas now it just feels so good and so fast. And I'm really, really confident that's going to just continue to, to rise. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about that. Obviously, like I said, squat and bench press is very, very frustrating. I mean, to be honest, in terms of my squat, it went up so ridiculously quickly. Like, I put a massive amount of weight on my PR that even though it has plateaued a bit now, probably in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter because I'm still so... If you'd asked me like a year ago, you know, where am I going to be now? I still would never in a million years have thought I'd be as you know lifting as heavy as I am. So to be honest, I feel like I've got a bit of room to put to you know room for maneuver anyway. But yeah, I don't want to talk too much. Uh, you can watch the stuff now. And in terms of watching it, um, there's really only way you can only one way you can do that. What I would suggest is uh, if you've seen the film Memento, you need to kind of replicate that. So you need to cover your body uh, in tattoos, just things you know, about your everyday life. So your name, uh, your names of your friends, date of birth, just, you know, tattoos like uh, what you've done that day, went to the shops, uh, drove my car to Tesco's, um, had a barbecue with Stephen, uh, all those things all over your body so that if you were, uh, heaven forbid, to lose your memory, you'd know what was happening. So when you've completely covered all of your visible skin with tattoos, um, to do with things you've been doing in your everyday life, when that's obviously complete, then uh, just get a uh, a nice kind of vintage armchair, get your laptop ready, load the video up, sit back and enjoy. And we're rolling. So, um, like I said, the week was a little bit disjointed uh, in terms of training. Uh, so I spent the first part of the week in Cornwall and on Monday it was my final kind of deload session. Well, it wasn't a full deload, it was kind of... I knew I was going to be squatting, like testing my squat a week later, so I wanted to do something relatively taxing, but at the same time not overly taxing. So this is in the gym in Cornwall. Uh, if you watch my bodybuilding and bulking video, bulking bodybuilding sorry video from last week, you'll see uh, some more stuff from in the gym. But yeah, I did uh, basically did a kind of a pyramid. So I went 
uh, from this way. So 180 kilos, 397 pounds for five reps. And I just increased the weight by uh, 10 kilograms uh, each time I dropped the, dropped the reps. So I went five reps there, followed by four reps, three reps, two reps, and then finished with a single at 220 kilograms, 485 pounds. Now, this was a little bit of a sign of things to come because in theory, this should have been quite easy, but it ended up being a pretty massive grinder. So, I mean, leading up to my squat PR attempt, the, the, the last kind of month, I've just not been massively confident. Like I've tried to be positive in my head, but I know that my squatting hasn't felt great for the last month or so. And whereas my previous attempts over the last kind of few months, I've always gone in thinking I'm definitely going to smash a PR. This time around, I wasn't very confident. Um, but anyway, yeah, I did that session on the Monday. I then literally just rested for, for I had five days, no, four days, sorry, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday um, of just resting, kind of bumming around in Cornwall, swimming a bit, jumping and all that kind of stuff, but no training. Then Saturday, the test period started. So this was my deadlift test session and it went really, really well. That was my penultimate single, 529 pounds, 240 kilograms, and it went up super easy. So I was feeling confident. Then I went for the big one, 573 pounds, 260 kilograms, and boom, there we go. So again, um, it kind of was a little bit of a grind at the top, but at the time it felt pretty easy. It moved really, really well. Like it had that kind of second of, it had that second of hesitation on the floor where it kind of stays there for a split second. Then as soon as I broke the floor, it came up quick. And then I had a little bit of a grind at the top, but I think that's probably more complacency because I kind of I knew I had it, I knew it was moving fast, probably kind of eased off a little bit and then it slowed down, but yeah, that felt really, really good. I was going to go for a bit heavier, but I thought I'd, what I'd generally find is when I hit a PR on a single, if I go for another one, I don't normally get it because even though I want to do it, subconsciously I'm kind of satisfied, my body won't let me really kind of open up and go for it, so... I left it there, and like I said, I'm really, really pleased. It's another deadlift PR. Deadlifts are coming on nicely. Right, then it was on to Sunday. So this is my bench press test session. Now, that again was my penultimate single, and it moved well, and I was feeling confident. I really genuinely thought I was going to get this. I thought it was going to go up quite easily. I think that was possibly my downfall. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, exactly the same as when I tested uh, in Cornwall. See there, elbows flare really early, the bar goes over the head and I lost it. And I was so, so frustrated because it's just, it makes no sense. Like the last two months, all of my bench press sets and reps have gone up and they've gone up quite a lot. Like compared to when I last, when I hit my last PR, uh, which was like what, 360 something pounds, all of my sets and reps are heavier. So I should in theory have a single PR there, but it wasn't there. I don't know why. Um, I said at the start, I'm going to change my, ben my bench press technique, I'm going to go a little bit wider, but if you watch my video next week, fixing my bench press, you will see and hear all about that. Right, this is Monday, so this is my final test session, this was obviously squats, here is my penultimate single, so 235 kilograms, 518 pounds, and I mean this was, it moved okay, but it was a bit of a grind, and again, Leading up to the session, I wasn't massively confident, and this didn't really do that much to help my confidence. You see here, I mean, it goes up okay. It goes up pretty well, really, but it was a little bit of a grind, more of a grind than I kind of wanted it to be. And then seeing this one before, um, I didn't get it. And, I mean, I know I'm capable of doing this exactly the same as with the bench press, but I know my form needs fixing. So, again, if you watch my fixing my squat video next week, you'll hear all about my plan. But, basically, I'm going to change my squat and my bench press, and hopefully everything should continue to move upwards. So, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, as always, and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.